Developing Asia is at the forefront of the fight against climate change. Countries in Asia and the Pacific are the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change, which hurt the poor the most. The region is also the fastest growing emitter of greenhouse gases in the world, accounting for 44% of global emissions in 2019. This makes the region's future development path critical to the global fight against climate change. While many countries have pledged to achieve net zero emissions, current fragmented policies won't be enough to meet the Paris Agreement targets, and the costs would be high. Commitments made by countries in the short term would do even less to control climate change. However, global cooperation to achieve net zero emissions could yield economic benefits five times the costs for developing Asia. The faster we act, the lower these costs would be, and the sooner we'll see the benefits. Getting to net zero at a sustainable cost will require drastic changes in energy and land use in the region. At the same time, international carbon markets can help reduce emissions cost-effectively. Switching to clean energy can also save about 350,000 lives annually by 2030 in developing Asia, thanks to reduced air pollution and a net 1.5 million additional jobs could be created by 2050 in the energy sector alone. With the right policies and regulations, developing Asia can play a key role in preventing catastrophic climate change.